Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over my top five free add-ons that you can get with Blender. Um, most of them come built in. I don't even think you need to download them. So let's go ahead and go over them. So the very first one that I want to go over is the bull tool. Um, so guys, and uh, go up to edit preferences, and this is how you add all of your add-ons in. Type in bull tool. This is the bull tool add-on right here. Let me go ahead and show you what it does. So normally when you want to do a boolean, if you have two objects, you click on the first one or the second one, you add a Boolean modifier, go and select your other object, hide your other object, and there's your Boolean, right? So this is fantastic, but honestly, everyone kind of needs a shortcut, right? This is just, it, it's too much work. So if you wanted to now use your bull tool, you would click on your first object, shift click the object you want to cut into, control shift B, and now your bull tool options are going to be right here. I'm going to click on difference and automatically Blender takes care of the rest. Now what's really nice is now we have this hidden object here. We can move it around and still cut into our shape. It's just a really, really quick way to model things in Blender. So I use the bull tool all the time, especially when I'm modeling complex things. Um, it's just really, really quick and easy to do. So let's go over the next one. I'm going to delete these. The next one is called image as planes. So type in image right here, import image as planes. Now this might sound like common sense, but a lot of people don't have this enabled. Go to add image, image as planes. And now we can go ahead and select any image we want. I'm going to select this one. And as you guys can see, if I go to material preview, we have a plane with our image on it. This is fantastic, very, very useful. And what's really nice is you guys can tab into edit mode. You can subdivide this a couple of times. You can hop out of that, add a displacement, right? I'm just trying to show you guys how quickly you can start messing around with your image as planes and how powerful this really is. So just like that, we have an image as planes that is now a 3D object that we can manipulate in 3D space. Very powerful image as planes. I use it all the time. That is our second add-on. Now for our next add-on, we're going to go to our preferences, type in extra and you're going to see add mesh extra objects. So this is really awesome here. Let me show you what this does. If you guys now go into your mesh here, you're going to notice there are so many more options here. We have round cube, we have torus objects, and then we have a rock generator, gears, all of these awesome things in here. The gears one is really cool because you actually get this menu down here and you can decide how many teeth you want with your gears, all types of the width, the radius, there's just so many different things that we can decide on what we want to do here. But one of the main things I always use this for, if you go to add mesh, is round cube. Now you're probably wondering what the heck this is, but if you turn the radius up to one, you actually get this perfect sphere. Now this is a round cube, right? And you can decide how many arcs you want with this. Now when you guys add in a regular UV sphere, you get something like this. Now, when you go to start adding textures and stuff to this, it's just not going to look right, which is why I always go with this round cube on the left here. So that's one of the main ways I use this add-on. All right, let's head over to the next add-on. Go to edit preferences, and our next add-on on the list is curves. So if you guys type in curves, you can do add curve extra objects right here. And just similar to our mesh menu, if you guys go to add curve, you're gonna see all these amazing options right here. Um, one of the ones that I've been using lately is the curve spirals. So if you go ahead and click on curve spirals, you're also going to get this menu down here. Now you'll notice if we adjust the height here, we have this amazing spiral. Now you can adjust all types of settings here. You can um, adjust your presets. You can adjust the type of curve, the amount of turns. There are just so many different things that we can adjust. The simplification of them, the non-simplification, you can add more steps, more turns, um, the radius, the expansion. Whoa. I mean, there are just so many cool things that you guys can do with this, and it's so powerful. So this is one of my favorite add-ons right here that is completely free. All right, let's go over the last add-on. Apologies, guys. Let me delete that. All right, let's go ahead and add an object. I'm going to add in a UV sphere for now, and then... This add-on is called Cell Fracture. So go to your preferences, type in Cell Fracture. There it is right there, add-on Cell Fracture. So the way we're gonna enable this is we go to Object, we go to Quick Effects, and then you're gonna have this little option here called Cell Fracture. I'm gonna click on that, and you're gonna get all of these amazing options. Usually, I just stick with what we have right here, and if you click OK, 
you'll notice that our shape now gets cut up into basically a bunch of different pieces. Now you're wanna, gonna wanna hide the original sphere here, but now if you look, we have all of these different pieces that made up this sphere that are now um, available to our disposal. And what's really cool is if you highlight all of them and then you go to your individual origins and you scale them down, you can get this really, really cool effect of this like exploded sphere look. And this is just so powerful. It's really easy to break up different parts and crystallize them in Blender using this add-on. And that will conclude our list of my top free add-ons for Blender. I love these add-ons. There's just so much you can do with them. Um, it's just really, really exciting to kind of go over this list with you guys. And again, these are all free. Um, I hope you guys take advantage of them. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this list. Is there anything you would add to the list? Again, these are my top five free add-ons for Blender. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.